Hey guys, so hey guys, welcome back. So in this part, we're going to go ahead and start creating this piece, um, this sort of handle for the door um, that you can see here. So first we're going to create this outer ring and then this inner sort of handle piece. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you're going to do again is duplicate this um, door. And just to speed um, things up, you're going to go ahead and quickly delete um, these edges so it's easier for us to select the faces so I'm just going to get rid of them really quick and I just noticed that these um, didn't merge together correctly um, yours might be fine so I'm going to quickly go ahead and fix this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select these two guys delete that edge and then select this word move it a bit back over where it's supposed to be and then I get down my tool set again just use the interactive split to go ahead and um, cut across here okay so that should be fine now so let's go ahead and duplicate this guy over again and let's go ahead and quickly delete these edges that we don't need um, it's just so you can faster select these faces so I'm just I'm gonna leave them on um, so I don't waste too much time and actually you can just select this loop now so it should be fine okay so once we have that let's go ahead and duplicate that face go into our outliner make sure we delete the history go ahead and actually you can go ahead and delete this now I'm powering this delete the node and now we have what we need okay so once we have this um, we can go ahead and we can possibly leave these extra edge loops in. Um, it shouldn't be that bad. So all we're going to do is we're going to just go ahead and extrude this to give this some thickness. So let's go ahead and try that. And then if I just move this over, let's go ahead and give it some thickness. Okay, and I should really do this in my side view. Okay, so there it is. That should be fine. Alright, cool. So we can go ahead and translate it back to zero. So it will be where it needs to be. And I think we're going to have to go ahead and scale this down. So let's go ahead and center the pivot. And just scale it down a tiny bit. Make sure we smooth this. Okay. And now let's go ahead and add in the um, supporting edges for this. So it will hold its shape. And then we can go ahead and move on to the next bit. So we need some on this side as well. And on this inner end. Let's go ahead and add one in the center as well. So it will hold its shape a little bit better. Add that to the wrong place. Deselect these edges so it stops freaking out. Okay, and one there. And let's add one in the center here as well, just to make sure. Okay, so that looks great. Let's go ahead and on isolate, see how these guys are looking. And we shouldn't have scaled this down. So let's go ahead and scale this back up. So I'm just going to set this to be one again. Okay, and there's our little handle or sort of rim that we need. Okay, so that looks great. So next thing we're going to go ahead and do is, um, at the moment, this actually looks a bit um, too small, to be honest, but it shouldn't make too much difference, to be honest. So we'll just leave it as it is. If you want, you can go ahead and make this a little bit bigger. Um, I'm just going to leave that. So let's go ahead and make the... Uh, Let's go ahead and make this a little bit thicker. So I'm going to go ahead and unisolate this. Go into our front view. And in the actual case, this is actually um, the back side of this looks different um, to what we're making. But we're not really going to see the back end. So what we're going to do instead, we're just going to make a little sort of uh, a little sort of case for this here. So in case we do look in the back, it doesn't. Um, look weird and I don't know what that is all about but that's weird do I just do that now let me 
go ahead and undo this. Nope. Okay, that's weird. Let's me just go ahead and delete this loop. Okay, that's really weird. Let's see what happened here. So for some reason, this um, edge loop didn't want to go all the way around. So let me just fix that real quick. Let's deselect these edges. That was weird. Let's go ahead and try to add these in. As far as I know, there's not a... Uh, these should be all quads, so I'm not exactly sure why that happened, but we have things like that happen in there. Okay, so it's all fine now. So, like I said, what we're going to do is... Um, we're going to go ahead and make just a little casing for this on the back, in case you do see it. Um, so it doesn't look all weird. So I just move this across, so this loop. I'm just going to move that back in the center. Okay, and we're just going to go ahead and cap this end up real quick. So let's go ahead and just make he, um, a plane, probably. Back into a side view. And then I'm just going to make it from here because I've got rid of my shelf. Polygon, plane, there we go. So I just got rid of the um, shelf so I got more space to work with um, but you should really leave your shelf on so you can make these primitives a little bit faster but for us it should be fine. So I just, I'm just making a plane here um, that we're going to use as a sort of back plate for this and then we're going to go ahead and add some edge loops. Um, actually let's go ahead and extrude this edge, it probably be, be faster. Okay, so I'm just extruding this edge here and then we're going to go ahead and move this vert up. Okay, and let's go ahead and add an uh, edge loop here in the center and don't worry about this piece too much uh, to be honest. So let's just go ahead and move this guy further down here and then we can actually get rid of this guy. Okay, so this is all we need really. So I'm going to isolate and let's go ahead and move this guy in place. So we're going to go ahead and move this to the back. Okay, and we're going to have to go ahead and make this guy a little bit bigger. <coughs> so let's go ahead and turn on our x-ray and just start pushing, um, add in some extra divisions and just move this roughly so multiple edge loops, probably four should do. Add four there, add four there. And then just quickly go ahead and move these verts so um, they're actually inside. So I'm just moving these in here. Moving these guys a little bit up. We shouldn't probably even need four for this. Okay, that looks about right. This guy needs to come across and up. An edge flow on this really doesn't matter because it's um it's planar, so let's just move all these guys further down. Move this guy up. Move these to the side. So I'm just lining these up with the um inside of the with the inside of this mesh that we just made. Okay, and try to do it pretty quickly. Don't want to spend too much time on this. Okay, that looks about fine. And hopefully, we don't have any gaps, okay? Yeah, that looks great. So let's go ahead and uh, move this exactly where we need it. We can have a little gap there, um, just for the sake of it. Okay, so that's all we did. We just made that sort of back panel for this. And now we can go ahead and start adding in the um, extra pieces and bits that we need here, okay? So let's go ahead and we're probably going to go ahead and make this out of two pieces. So that back play that we made is um, that section there. And this is actually all one piece here. 
but we're going to make out two just to make our life a little bit easier. So let's go ahead and first of all probably make a cube. So let's go ahead and create a cube. Okay, it doesn't really matter how big. I'm going to go ahead and move this up anyway. So we're going to our side view. You can turn on X ray back again. Okay. And let's go ahead and move this guy. So it's going to be roughly down here and there and there. So just to make sure that it does line up with our, um, with our rim. And then let's go ahead and add in uh, a loop. Oops, only one. Let me go ahead and reset this guy. So use our own ZH loop tool. Let's go ahead and grab this guy here. Only that guy. And move this guy up. Okay, we might need another one. Not there. If I can select my cube, there we go. Okay, let's go ahead and select that word and push it down just a bit. And I'm just thinking we probably yeah, let's go ahead and make this a little bit cleaner as well. So I'm going to add a loop here and a loop down here as well. And it's not really that necessary to make this nice, but you might as well. Okay, so this is our base. Let's go ahead and move this and make this a little bit thinner. Turn on, turn off X-ray. Move this in where we need it. So it's going to sit roughly in there so there is a little gap um, in between let's just turn on x-ray and make this a little bit less tall okay so that's where the um, second piece sits on top of this so basically what we are doing is this sort of bottom rim okay and then this piece will sit on the top so now that this is done, let's go ahead and add in the loops for this. I mean, we could make it all out one piece, but um, it would make things a little bit more complicated and it's not really necessary. So if it's not necessary, then we shouldn't really bother um, doing it out of one piece. Okay, so I'm just quickly adding in these loops so this will roughly hold its shape and it will be smooth. Like so, let's go ahead and see how that's looking. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Don't worry about it too much. And now we can go ahead and make this piece that um, sits on the top of this.